What parts of the growing process has Shenandoah really led some innovation? So we're extremely passionate about the future of food and innovating our production systems. So as a learning organization, we've had all sorts of challenges over the 25 years plus of our existence. We've seen all sorts of different uh, problems with growing and had to strive and persevere to correct them. Specifically, what we've focused on is the early stages of production. And we were finding that as, after plants germinated, they typically had the, the highest level of losses in that initial stage of growing in the nurseries. So, so people could think of it as like infant mortality rates were high. Exactly, yes. So as we started to develop our indoor LED controlled ag rooms, we applied them first to the nursery uh, stage of production. And as a result, we're able to control the climate in the, uh, in the room. We uh, bring in artificial lighting. We bring in organic fertilization and we can control every aspect of that plant's development and those in that most vulnerable stage. And what's at the result of that is we have a much higher yield, we have a much more healthy plant, and a better outcome, but more, a better flavor for the consumer. When you think about the water consumption profile, where has your innovation helped reduce water consumption? So uh, what we do in our system is we collect our water on the roof surfaces of our facilities. So on our greenhouse surfaces, uh, roof surfaces, and on the adjoining building surfaces. And that's where we, we get our, our water from. We use that in our closed loop fertilization system so the water stays in the greenhouse. The only water that uh, we lose is what the plants consume and what we lose to evaporation. So it's extremely efficient uh, from a water point of view. We use up to 90% less water than most other conventional systems. So it's fully sustainable by using the, the rainwater and is an excellent example of the future food system.